If you're not living in fear of being torn apart on social media, last week brought another reminder of why you should On Wednesday, Sarah Jiang, hired the day before as the newest member of the New York Times editorial board, was lambasted after tweets of hers were excavated from 2014 5, a year Jiang spent tweeting things LYK white men are bullshit, number cancel white people, and it's kind of sick how much joy I get from being cruel to old white men. Calls for Jiang's firing on Twitter quickly followed. By Thursday afternoon, she had said she regretted the tweets, and The Times released a statement saying that it didn't condone the tweets but was keeping her on. Even those who rightly offended by Jiang should be cheering on The Times' decision. Because every time someone is fired for old tweets or jokes they made years ago, the increasingly unhinged online mob gains a little more authority. Jiang is just the latest target in a long string of people digging up controversial tweets for the sake of getting someone fired or ostracized. One of the earliest and most notorious cases was that of Justine Sacco, a PR woman from New York who tweeted going to Africa. Hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding. I'm white. Online furor ensued. Tens of thousands of people angrily shared or responded to her tweet. The hashtag number has just in Lendedut began trending. By the time she reached her destination, she'd lost her job. Five years later, and it's only gotten worse. Recently, Disney announced that James Gunn won't direct Guardians of the Galaxy 3 after 10-year-old tweets resurfaced of him joking about pedophilia. He'd apologized years ago, but the internet doesn't allow for growth or grace. It never forgives or forgets. In a twist of irony, a few people pointed out that Jiang herself had a history of cheering the social media mobbing of others for tweets or comments, including saying that what happened to Sacco wasn't that bad and mocking British biochemist Tim Hunt after he was widely berated online for a joke about women in labs. In one of the more relevant instances, Jiang gloated after the left-leaning think tank demos fired writer Matt Brunig over tweets, lamenting that people were making him out to be a martyr and dismissing concerns over his potential loss of income. More on social media This vigilante dad sets online traps to catch child predators Instagram influencers are peddling junk science Sunflower farm closes after being swarmed with visitors Thousands attended protests reportedly set up by election meddlers being a part of a mob that calls for someone else's firing over old comments is sort of like throwing gasoline on your neighbor's house while it burns and expecting the fire not to reach your door We are all vulnerable to this mob fury. Twitter has 336 million active users, but it's not just tweets that can get you fired. Everyone who has shared an opinion online, on a podcast, a blog or anywhere that can be screenshotted, copied or recorded, is a potential target. If you think you're safe, think again. Sacco had just 170 followers. The tweet still ruined her life. No one is too anonymous. No tweet is too old. The more we make businesses pay attention to an online reaction by directly calling for a firing or cheering on those who do, the easier it'll be to get someone fired in the future. If a bunch of keyboard warriors out for blood can influence companies to axe employees over old jokes, then we're all in jeopardy. If you've been online for any significant period of time, you've probably either said or will say something that, in or out of context, 
could be used to embarrass you in front of a potential employer. No one who helps build a guillotine imagines that one day their head will be on the chopping block. The only chance we have to take back power from the mob is to stop contributing to it. Criticize speech you disagree with while actively discouraging the firing of others for that speech. See other people as complex beings more than the sum of a handful of old comments. It's easy to be offended by a screenshotted collection of tasteless jokes or over-the-top rhetoric, but we have to start considering the price of our outrage. Because one day, it could be any of us picking up the tab 